Hey, Lois, remember Big Chungus? It's like 2017, 2018, something all over again. Yeah, welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. I know I said I would take it easy with these uploads, with Bowser's Fury being out and whatnot, but I just want to play the game. Is that too hard to ask? Yeah, when we get to post-game stuff, I will do Luigi's Balloon World. Given that there's a lot of me profile picks, and, uh... We have, like, this My Nintendo Rewards thing that allows people to make their own profile picks now. More or less. I'd like to mix and match more elements, but, you know... rather than being limited to one game. That we get the little profile elements from. Wow, we are just taking a beating today. Eh, nothing Mario can't handle. Two hundred and six, and that's only like a fraction of this game's moons. Yeah, if you're wondering why I sound different, it's because of uh, the Pokemon 25 video, I had to move my PC to get a better signal on the 3DS. With the whole uh, capture software, my capture card broke for that, so... Yeah, no more 3DS videos. Or at least for a while. This, I've got to use a different 3DS for that. Oh, yeah. So yeah, probably uh, stuff like Wario Land will have to be, like, cancelled. Unless I do it on, like, an emulator. My stance on emulation has changed overall throughout the years. Like, if it's something old, or something you can't get up on your TV. Like something you already own too. Or something they're not selling. Then I guess it's good. However, if they're still selling it. Like this game. Then yeah, no go. That only hurts the developers. Yeah, I know. It might be disappointing to some people, but... Things have changed over the years. Anyways, I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Yeah, I'm just pulling out all the uh, memes from that past decade. Oh, I almost had it. The Odyssey has seen better days. Punished Odyssey! <laughs> Super Punished Odyssey! <laughs> I'm just thinking of stuff in my head as I go along. Alright, let's get to playing the game.
wonder if... HA! First trap. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm having a bit of a pause here. I'm just trying to play the game and think and talk. Hopefully we have enough Goombas. Not even enough! Come back with one more. Well, that's just Dan. That's it, I'm pulling out the big guns. Good old Mario Amiibos. Yeah, eat that! Okay, that does not protect against the pink lava. And we could use a little pick-me-up here. Wedding peach. Aria on wedding peach. Peach Amiibos right now, but I will bring out the Smash Bros one. Uh, I've got like my Amiibo all like somewhere, like a little compartment, storage compartment. I know it ain't collector like. I'm like, there was a lot going on in my life that I'm not ready to share. So, things have been rearranged in my, uh, workspace, a.k.a. my room. <laughs> hey, Lois, this guy still lives with his parents! Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Don't remind me. Now you gotta draw me as the Sway Wojak. <laughs> no, seriously. I ironically, that thing has been made to parody like Nintendo fans like me. However, me having the sense of humor I have. I, I, I just find it hilarious. Like, the, the Labo movie. <laughs> Like he's driving around in the little labo. If you have seen these Wojaks. I mean, look at him go. He, he's like having a good time. I mean, I, I, mean, I can take a joke. Come on. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. I think it's safe to say Mario relatively just does not put up with evil's, uh, malarkey. I am trying my best not to swear. For professional reasons. However, I've been, like... If you know me personally, or see me, like, at GalaxyCon, I think a year ago, in Raleigh, you know that I have a filthy mouth! <laughs> Oh, 
like I drop f bombs on a daily basis. Sadly, not in front of kids though. That's different. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about something YouTube did. I know my Mario 35 video is long and lengthy and has a lot of gigs on it, but, 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 but apparently it compressed the quality. When I was comparing the videos, a lot of the details got like left out, so I might just update it with a link to a raw file. I know it's a big video. I, I just wanted the uh, the quality to be there, like like you could see all the stitches on Mario's hat and overalls and shirt and the hairs in his mustache and, and head. But yeah, if you got a powerful computer, it's, it's no problem. Or, like, a phone with that much memory. Okay, I'm busting out the heavy artillery here. And also, thank goodness OBS added a pause button so I can do this. Man, I love the OBS pause button. Basically, I don't have to edit these videos, like, as much anymore. Where was this years ago? Yeah, Mario is just becoming, like, plumber on a stick here. No, not Jose Jalapeno on a stick. Plumber on a stick. If you're offended by that joke, get a sense of humor. Or, I, I don't care if I get cancelled at this point. Like, you just make my life more interesting. I'm not joking. <laughs> Dang, I, I don't get out of the house that much. I'm a loser, baby! So why don't you kill me? Yeah, COVID, I think, has also made me a little stir-crazy. As it has with everyone. Literally or metaphorically? Well, I hope he's prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. I, 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 I really can't do some impressions. I, I just can't. That 
that can be arranged. Basically Mario 2-ing this. Haha! <laughs> First try! Yeah, the spin jump is one of my favorite moves. I'm glad that they brought back the foot the drilling trick technique. Look, if I swear I'm not correcting myself, I, I specifically set this video not for kids. Oh yeah, speaking of kids, what what, what is going on with, with the whole YouTube kids thing? Hey, I heard that's like becoming a problem again. And like, like I heard Elsa Gate is back in some shape or form. Like, like, those videos were clickbait as it is, and uninteresting. Like, seeing them pop up on my recommended was just annoying. And, I, I mean, like... If Elon Musk does make significant good changes to Twitter, then I welcome it. That's how politically unbiased I am. Uh, I don't care about your agenda, okay? All I care is that if you're a good person, I, I'm, I'm simple like that. I know. Sue me. I'm probably going to get canceled for this, am I? Yes, that did take a lot of skill. I feel like I feel like a broken record sometimes. Oh, come on! I want to make the Odyssey look less punished. Yeah, if you're not familiar with the reference to this suit, it's from Yoshi's Cookie. Like, they really pulled out all the stops here on this. Da -da -da -da. There we go. It's heating up. Leave that guy there. I wonder how they come up with the names for these guys. Like, apparently those enemies... 
Magmato enemies? We're called Magmatos. Like, they probably go in by a different name in Japan, but, eh. Eh, I know there's, like, localization teams. Oddly enough, speaking of them, one of the, uh, translators or localators, as is for the, uh, Pokemon games, for the first four generations, came back to name. English name. Their uh, these unused designs that were found in gold and silver. I know it's old news at this point, but I found it interesting. Dang. I mean, Nob still got hot talent at this. I wonder what he's doing now today. Why not? Jackpoint! Salt pile aisle. Still gets me. Yeah, another reason why my stance on emulation has changed is because, well, the retro game market is getting expensive and ridiculous, but, and they need to start selling these old games again. And, like, the other day, I saw a cartridge of Mega Man 4, yes, I know about the Legacy Collection releases, it, and this was an NES cartridge, mind you, and it was $100. For a copy of Mega Man 4 on the NES. And people are wondering why... And they're probably wondering why it's not selling. If somebody wanted that... That game, they would rather buy, I don't know, the Legacy Collection bundled with... I don't know, five other Mega Man games? Or just use an emulator. Rather than paying $100. Now if it was freshly minted, it's still in box, and never open, then that's a different story.
I wonder if the pink lava is edible. I'm gonna find out. It's been a while since I've read these old maps. Well, not exactly old, but yeah, a few years. No, apparently not. Looks soupy. I guess that's just the color of the lava here. Yes, we know. I, I don't need a tutorial. I'm an old pro at this, I guess. I guess this, this is one way of returning the hammer suit. In a sense. But that power-up should just make a full comeback at this point. I mean, the frog suit did, in a way. Out of basing and kicking it at this point. I can hear hints of Charles Martin Nate's voice in this, I think. That already probably coached the other actors, or they just listened to his line. They sound very Mario. I still can't believe Chris Pratt's gonna be Mario. The movie. I, I would have liked Charles Martin 8, but I guess if he's cool with it. And if he's not getting completely roped out of it. Like, I heard the, the movie leaks. Like, he's gonna be the narrator or something. And have a lot of cameos. Again, I'm taking it with a huge salt pile. I <laughs> hope! If you know my, what I mean. And, but it sounds good so far. I mean, as long as they're keeping Charles around for for the games, I'm good. I guess. I would have liked him to be Mario and Luigi in the movie, but... Yeah, I... I, I we all had that feeling. Feeling you know, like... Yeah, I mean, like, I'd like to see, like, a Charles Martinet dub. Where, like, Chris Pratt's the narrator instead. Ed, or half of all the cameos. Like a Snyder cut. Uh, this could be the Martin 8 cut. If it was worth it for Warner Brothers to do it, then it's worth it for Nintendo and Universal and Illumination, in my opinion. There's going to be a lot of how the basic level stuff in this video. Yeah, I'm just basically doing this like how to basic. <laughs> Give 
them a lot of fine but I'm gonna see what he can do with them. Ah, 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 ah. Out to Mario. <laughs> A basic Mario edition. Another moon! Okay, that looks a lot more painful than it did. Little up speed. Boom. I'm just gonna wait for the hammer bros on that one. And they're ready to show their faces. Beaks, whatever. Shouldn't they be up here? Mr. Meaty Meat Taking a screenshot of that Meat Mario I wonder how it feels to be just a pile of nerve endings and muscle <laughs> I'm gonna ask him that if I ever get to like Nintendo New York. Oh, I missed the screenshot for that completely. Wait, maybe not. Again, I want to get another screenshot. Wow, already 30 minutes into this video? Hmm.
Granddad? <laughs> I don't know why Mario looks so good with a beard. Oh, he even has like cave under ruse. No, let's just go with the old classic. <laughs> How Mario does not get horrible scars, I am not sure of. Maybe he does have them in places that we just don't know about. Or want to know about. Again, Mario is a lot tougher than he looks. So there's that. I mean, the dude could, like, keep up, up fighting the world's fastest hedgehog and compete with him in the Olympics. And pretty much survive the universe imploding. And free Big Bang itself. So that alone is a feat of strength, but again... And Mario is also uh, a man, and he also has its limits, but he can take a beating. Let's just say that. Well, that's just unfortunate right there. Oh, there we go. Fire Bros. Yeah, I have a ton of screenshots for them. Just in case. Um, how do I turn the thing back on? I know, I'm a photo nut here. Sorry about that, I had to take a pause break if things seem a little off, because they are. I just want to get the MM one. I had a better thumbnail for this. I'll find it and use it. No, no, word of advice, if you want the fireballs to fly for a little while, just shake the icon or controller, whatever you use. Oh yeah, since I'm probably going to get cancelled already, I'm probably going to do something controversial. I'm going to talk about Ken Penders. Yeah. Yeah. 
I actually emailed the dude, I think. A while back. I don't know. He's actually very nice. I, I like some of his ideas. Again, I'm not saying all of them work. But I think... I, I remember his Knuckles comics, and they were kind of interesting, in my opinion. Again, nobody... I don't remember a lot of people being a fan of them, but I was. Again, I, I just don't remember, like, that much. But the, that time was kind of a blur. Er, I, I always found Spectre 8 to be really cool. Cool, and I wish they could have, uh, explored, like, each character personality for each guardian. Guardian, like, Spectre just stood out from the most. Him and Locky. His Spectre was a little more violent. And a little more open-minded. And, and, I, and I really like to see them, like... And I think if Ken got the chance, he would have, uh, probably explored a little more on that. And if Knuckles comic, uh, just, uh, had a little more issues. Because I, I would have loved to see it. Yeah, because it, I think he's like the oldest of the Guardians. In the, in the Brotherhood. But, but anyway, I heard he's go- I heard Ken is going to sue Paramount. And yeah, apparently Sonic fans are not happy with him again. And, again, I'm not saying all Sonic fans. And I've seen some. I'm um, in quite a few, okay? And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think if they, it, if Sega and their partners didn't want, like, any more lawsuits, or just not to be bothered with Ken, I think at this point they should just, let's pay the man. Let's just face it. Hey, Ken is a man who does not cave in to Twitter. And I respect people like that. Like, your opinion is not going to make him change his mind. On the lawsuits. So, if you want to, like, avoid any legal trouble, or groaning, and just pay him. Yeah. Like, laughing on it about him online, he does not care. Trying to make him look bad online, he does not care. He wants to get paid. Can you blame him? If you want to save yourself a headache, just pay him. It's that simple. Stop nickel and diamond. Because by saving a few cents, you're you're actually costing yourself a lot more money. I don't know about you. I think maybe we should spend all these coins. We've hit the max.
Yeah, that's the max. I'm done clearing around. Yeah, hopefully you get a race, little fork dude. Well, Bonian. This may be a lengthier video. What? It worked with Bowser's Fury! This is not an amiibo, you think? This is also not an amiibo. Figuring, ha huh? ha! Yeah, I still have my old Disney Infinity stuff. I made like do like a free playing video on that. Like I have the Wii U version. And I should really, really have invested in the other consoles. That has a little more power. But uh, it is what it is. didn't work. Yeah, I think it might disappear on us, but we can always get it again. Yep.
Also, up until this game, I didn't know Hammer Bros had hair. And there it goes. I'm surprised Mario does not have any blisters. Again, he's tougher than he looks. Yeah, like shaking the Joy-Con here. Make the fireballs fly a bit. Works. I really like how they increase the difficulty for this. Like from 3D worlds. But in exchange, they... They, like, uh, remove the game overs altogether in the extra life system. Like, if you die, there's no game overs. You don't run out of lives. How many 1-ups do- You know what, I did collect quite a few 1-ups in 3D World. That explains everything. Yes, Cappy, we know. Had an idea, Smash Bros. Mario. I am invincible! Or Mario is invincible! INVINCIBLE! Stop this. I'm so glad that they returned this from Super Mario World and Dream Team. And like like a little drill hidden Super Mario World in, in the Dream Team game. I think he also did it in the Mario in Luigi game. Well, it's been, it's been a while. Well, I'm pulling out a ton of amiibo here. And we're gonna hit the hour mark on this. So thanks for watching. No, we're not done yet. Charles was really excited for me. I know Charles is usually happy to play Mario whenever he gets a chance, but like he really like went all out for the whole burn screens. <laughs> he always does. He does with work in Mario, and that's why I wanted him to be in the movie, but eh. Again, maybe they could just do a little Snyder Cut with Charles Martinet as Mario and Luigi. If he wants to, that is. I mean, like, you gotta get the permission. I mean, he want. I heard he would. But, but again, that's also his choice. And I'm respecting him. And I mean, it'd be like super, probably super easy. Do it. 
They just have to get, like, uh, Charles to uh, do all the lines to Chris did. And, uh, Charlie did. And, uh, put that over them. I'm like, uh, make Chris Pratter in early days the narrator. Or cameo. Like, I. In a way, I don't understand why they did it. But in another way, I understand why. The rock. And it's a flamethrower. Oh, we already got that one. Yeah, I, I I I don't know where they're gonna go next for the next new original 3D Mario game. And that's interesting because this was just on the fly power-ups. And then the Bowser's Fury introduced like the power-up bar. Where you could like save them up. My only guess would be like combining them in like some sort of way. Like using elements from the overworld. In like some weird mechanic. That gives Mario's power ups like an extra effect. And like Kirby Star Allies did. It. Again, throwing the cap was just fun as doing the spin move in the uh, Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Oh. They, they wanted to get that down and they nailed it. That level of fun, fun was nailed. Nailed, and it felt natural. Okay now. Again, if they were gonna go for a new mechanic like like Cappy or the spin mechanic from Mario Galaxy, I would probably go with something a little more unconventional. Oh, but feels organic. Like mysterious in a way.
I don't like the spin move. But something that feels unnatural, but organic like throwing the cash. I'm sorry if I'm like pausing. I'm just trying to fight this boss in the like talk thing. I know I said that before, but yeah. You just be pretty sure I have autism. No, really, I I do. I'm gonna cancel for this ammo. I keep saying that, and I just feel that. Well, at least I I won't have a boring life. However, I would like the environments to be, like, very unique, like Odyssey's. I'm just gonna grab my, uh, modern day Pixel Mario amiibo. With the modern colors. Like, I'm surprised when they, uh, did a patch for the game, like, adding in all these outfits. Like, there's an exact outfit for the Pixel Mar- Mario in modern day colors. And I'm surprised they didn't like update it to like register when you tap this amiibo. It has the exact same color palette in look that you didn't unlock that in the in the one with the classic color scheme. The game just gave you the classic Mario. Again, I understand why they did it, but eh. Oh, heck yeah. And according to the leaks, apparently... Any Mario and Luigi are going to start out in their co classic color schemes, but a bit dusty. Which I'm cool with. With. What I'm not cool with, however, is that I'm probably gonna start out in Brooklyn or New Donk. Donk, because according to Yoshi's Island, Mario was born in the Mushroom Kingdom. From what I can remember. Again, they could have moved! They could have moved! Oops. And again, this is Miyamoto's way of explaining the Mario story and adapting the game to, like, an origin, I guess. Yes, I, I really wish they didn't go with the origin story, but again, this is what Miyamoto wants. He's the director, and I understand. Hey, 
end. I think having Donkey Kong there... There was a good move. And again, they could change the plot up, up through this lake altogether. And I hope it's, like, not the final thing, but at the same time, I want it to be, because, like, it's, it's a bit of a musical. Like an old-school Disney cartoon. But it's in 3D. Oh yeah. Were we here? No? Make it oh. like what I didn't expect them to do with these kind of rooms is to add like two of them. Kind of like encourages you to explore a lot more, which I like. Like, like, they added, like, these little rooms for, like, 3D World, like, ingenuity. Hey, but they also encourage you to explore them. <laughs> and if ingenuity isn't the right word, I, I think it takes a little bit from, like, uh, galaxies and... 3D worlds. Old uh, bits. It's while maintaining the sandbox feel. Like the exploration encouragement is there. Just right. Me personally, I think Crest 
Chris Pratt is going to be a good Mario. You know what I mean? If Charles Martin made was like, uh, the, the, it, I mean, like, he wouldn't probably let him take the roles of Mario if he knew he was going to screw it up. Uh, he probably would have said it something to Miyamoto. Oh, but again, I want like a Charles Martin 8 version of the movie. Like a Snyder cut, maybe. And maybe include some deleted scenes? I don't know. Sorry, I'm beating a broken record here. Let's see what you got. One way to incorporate Fire Mario. I guess it's Fire Bro Mario now. <laughs> Do anything, but it's fun. You may even have to do it, but I guess it's a nice nod to Mario 64. Again, we have way too many coins. You have regional coins. Coins, I don't know. Maybe it helps the economy in the mushroom world. If that's what we're still calling it, like from Mario 3. I don't know. That's what I'm calling it. Uh, multiple kingdoms. Ah, oh, that played.
I really like how they, they like um included angles to throw the cap in. Oh no! Yeah, I saw some little points there if we're gonna cover that. And that happened. Not sure if that recorded. I saw my, uh, I got a multi monitor set up now. It said Mike Ox, and it just went black for a bit. I will admit this this is entertaining to watch. Probably my standard. Probably my eyes were playing tricks on me. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh. Detour. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh. And yeah, my eyes are playing tricks on me again. Wait a minute. Okay, I had a Dr. Mario Amiibo, but my rearrangements... I can't seem to find it at the moment. So you know what? Little compensation prize. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yep, the golden Mario amiibo. I spent 75 bucks on Amazon for this one. And the next day, apparently GameStop, when it was supposed to be a Walmart exclusive, starts selling. I almost tore my hair out. I got this bin where all my figures are and like little quest bags and uh, bubble wrap. Well, oh, most of them. Not all of them. But again, I had uh, Mr. Conroy. I actually signed one of my figures at uh, GalaxyCon. And I want to thank him for that. That was very nice of him. Alright. Pikachu defibrillator. No, we don't want a coin. We need an electric shock. To the heart. To the heart! They can find berries, they they can find a moon. And I'm also sending in Fox McCloud, because again. And Fox is probably at the mall. All or at a cafe. Hey, Crystal, Mayu, and uh, Faye are at the mall. Oh, Slippy's at the hardware store. And Falco is probably doing, like, whatever kind of donuts in an R-Wing. Or in the Landmaster. Personally, he prefers the air, though. Shake it up a little here. Can we get like over elsewhere? Like I'd like to see a new Star Fox game. Like, I was talking to like a former Nintendo employee, I think an illustrator, and uh, I really would want how I'd like to see something after, like, Assault, or Quinn of Command's good endings. He actually liked the idea of that. That, yeah, and I think Andros needs a bit of a break. Okay, so, uh, 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 and quite honestly, I, I just like to see Crystal and Panther again. And th those two were cool. Maybe Mayu and Faye? In some way, shape, form. Along with Bill. I 
I'd also like to see Beltino Toad return. Along with Rippy. Oh no! Yeah, I'm getting reckless here. Yeah, I just saw another dude on Twitter back when this game was getting a lot of buzz. Like, <laughs> casually speedrun this. I wanna do that. Uh, uh, I meant to do that. <laughs> Not really. No! So close, but so far! Gif shish blocks. Ha, <laughs> that was too close for comfort. I really like the classic Mario blocks on shish kebabs. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. Like, this was a rather clever and creative thing. Like, just putting the classic Mario blocks on shish kebabs. <laughs> Alright, no more fooling around. I think Mario is now on legal grounds to sue me for doing this. We go a lot better.
Okay, that was very fortunate. We got way too many coins. Oh, thanks, dude. You know what? Let's just take care of the cheese blocks right away. Ugh, I remember I was in a lot better shape. I need to get back in that shape. Hopefully this game will help. Shake him joy cut around. Stop. Licking it. Okay, that was too close. We'll get to that door later. Again, I forgot to grab the turret. And I think that's all the golden turnips. Oh, I got that. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna call these Hammer Bros Flying Bros. Why? Because they throw... Oh, frying pins instead of hammers. Quite honestly, I, I think they should have another color palette. Like Ice Bros, Boomerang Bros, Fire Bros. Maybe they did at one point? I don't know. Oh, but I guess this is also a part of the charm. Arms, giving them frying pins instead of hammers. Alright, let's mosey back onto the Odyssey. Yeah, Fox and his team probably got a bird's eye view. Pikachu probably just bumped into something. Fried one of Bowser's minions. Or <laughs> Alright, hopefully this is enough. I hope your ears are ready for this. video here. Or, uh, see you around, everyone.